hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm just going to be showing you guys how i do my rope twists um my senegalese twist but she's getting the size in between a small and a medium and in, on my website it's called irregular size and we are doing the um the waistline so for my twists, I usually braid first and then twist. Sometimes I just braid them like doing like the knotless way and then I twist them. So I never really start with twists because I never really felt safe with them. I know they do last for some people but not for all. And most of my clients in the past have requested for me to just braid them before twisting them. So that's the reason why I just, that's just how I do them. And if a client request, if a client you know ends up requesting for like the twist first and just twist all the way, I will do that for them. But for security and for the hair to last as long as I want it to last for them, I usually just braid first and then twist them. As you can see, I do have my magnetic wristband and I do have my edge control on it. So right now, I am trying to pass my clients here to create a nice clean part and that way when your parts are really clean it just makes it easier for you to braid and it just makes it sweet you know sweet and like clean so first i did my rough parts which is just like my rough draft basically and then i'm going to go ahead and um use the edge control i'm just going to um sorry i don't know what i was doing but um <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and put the edge control on the lines like basically on the, like the rough draft parts i'm just gonna put it right there and i'm so sorry guys i know i was putting a lot than i was supposed to i wasn't really paying attention but it's not going to affect the look of the um twist actually it's gonna end up melting and just looking really nice but ignore that and then after doing this i'm just gonna go ahead with my rat tail comb and start creating a cleaner pot the edge control just makes it easier for you to part. So when you create your line, the any hair in between can just lay flat. So it's just easier for you to just run through. Again, I do have the link to the rat tail comb in my description box, as well as the um the wristband, which is just so easy because you don't have to keep going back to your um edge control container. You can just if you need to add some edge control, you can just you know using your wrist you know so you can just you know dab it and then use it so as you can see right now i'm creating the cleaner parts so that's the reason why when you do your rough draft you know part and then you can just put your edge control on it and then go back and clean it and that's how you're able to create um a very very clean part so at least that is how i create my own clean pads i never really used to do it do this um do this i would just parts and braid as i go but i realized that it actually makes my braids you know lots more nicer and just easy for me to braid because i don't have any hair in between the lines you know like bugging me or anything like that so that's the reason why now for all my clients and all my style i usually just do this just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and then after this i am going to go ahead and just make sure that top bun is tied properly just so that again it doesn't loosen up and then you know fall back when i'm twisting and then after doing that we're going to go right ahead and braid so i'm using um rua braiding here i'm using color 1b for my client so again i'm just patting the hair and the hair is only like that because of i'm going to end up fitting it in so i'm going to start like traditionally and then i'm going to i'm just going to fit in as i go but you guys are going to see what i do i just freestyle sometimes you know sometimes i do like the knotless way all the way and sometimes i just like braid first and then like start fitting the rest of the hair in to add more because i don't want my clients to have like the knot like the braiding knots towards the end so i just fit it in first with a very tiny piece of hair as you see me doing right now I'm just going to braid and then I am going to start fitting in some more hair and then I'm going to start and I'm going to use my edge control to you know rub through my clients here and then I'm going to twist but you're going to see you know you're going to see how I do it when we get there 
Yeah, so I wanted to mention that just because I don't want people to get confused and stuff. Because again, I don't really like the knots and I don't want to just twist first. I wanted to always braid to my client just so that it lasts really, really long for them. That's the reason why I always braid first and twist. But since I am not a fan of the knots, you know, with the, the, the knot that comes with the braid, that's the reason why I would like start braiding small. Like I am doing like the... um. I don't know you try to braids and then i'm going to fit in basically something like that and now i'm just going to make sure we have equal braids amounts of braids on both ends and i'm going to use my edge control rope through my clients here and that way it makes it so much easier so much easier and cleaner to twist again i'm not like a huge fan of twisting so i might not even be doing some things correctly you know i don't know Maybe I am, but I, I've not really had any clients in the past complain to me or, you know, mention about your twist unraveling. I do try my best, but I'm not like the huge, huge, huge twist um, fan. But whenever I do them, I try to make them really tight and firm for my clients. And this is the way I twist. I don't know if I'm over twisting or under twisting. People have asked me that. I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know like what it's called. But I've been using doing it this way for like years and it's been working really really fine for me so yes and then I'm gonna rub my edge control all the way to the end and that is what I did for the rest of my clients head if you have any questions feel free to ask me and so then I'll be seeing you guys in my next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you <music>